All right, so I'm just letting you know it here at the beginning of this video that this place is awesome, historically. So, I know we start the video outside the fort, give it a little bit of history, but then I do make my way inside the old fort here, so make sure you stay tuned to that part because it is amazing in here. In fact, I'm moving in. All right, enjoy the video. All right, so John and I are continuing our uh, little New York work trip here. We were just at Niagara Falls. And uh, where are we at? Lake Erie this morning, I think, as well. Yeah, now we're uh, again. Yeah, now we're back at Lake Ontario. Um, this is Fort Niagara State Park, so we're gonna check this place out. It was it's a little bit north of Niagara Falls, so check out something historical. Plus, I like there's an old fort up here, so we'll explore this place a little bit, see what it has to offer. All right, so we've been here for a little bit already. We uh, saw a little movie presentation of what happened here, the history of this place, and then we went on a brief little tour on some of the outer stuff. Um, so now, I mean, we're gonna go back into the fort and take you with me. Now that I a little bit, know a little bit more about the history of this place, it's actually really interesting, um, this place. It dates back to, I think it was 1720. The French built the fort here. It doesn't really look like a fort, it looks like a big house. Um, I think it was done that way on purpose because the the Iroquois, the Native Americans here, didn't really necessarily want a fort here. So the French built a house that kind of acted like a fort. So, and see these cool brick walls here. These were not built by the French or the British. These were built in 1863, I think, um, by Union soldiers. Um, not that this place was in any danger during the Civil War, but I think they, movies said they used this as a training camp during the Civil War. Yeah, Fort Niagara here, so. But they look pretty cool these walls anyway so and we're gonna explore this place pretty thoroughly I think it's pretty awesome so we're gonna head back we're going to the main entrance of the fort across this little bridge and into the gatehouse and then we'll see what we do from there so um, a number of these things have been reconstructed and some have been repaired extensively because um, the place was abandoned at one time and as we're walking along I'll give you more history about this place as well because actually a lot, a lot happened here. It's really cool. So, all right, I'm glad we came here. This is kind of an unexpected visit for today. Of course, over there is the Niagara River. And across the river there is Canada. So we're pretty close. And up here is the gatehouse. This would have been here during the French occupation. So to get in, you'd have to come in this way. I think most of this was reconstructed. They have it, they tried to do it originally, they have all the old counterweights there to lift up the drawbridge that would have been out here. So that's cool. You know, hey guys, move these. That's pretty cool though. But yeah, it is pretty neat in here. It looks really cool. Like I think a lot of this was redone. That looks pretty awesome. All right, let's keep going. This is one of the towers. I should mention, this is a tower just walking towards. This is a gate we just came out of. That has a French uh, symbol up top there, I guess they call it. It's got some dates. Say 1678 to 1759. That's when the French occupied this area. Like I said, the fort itself was built in 1720. I got my date, my date right there, but of course they French occupied here in 1678 to 1759. And the tower here was built by the British, who captured this fort in, uh, in the 1750s during the French and Indian War. And of course, this one over here has their dates, 1759 to 1796, the English occupied this fort. Oh. 
不能上去危险吗？你看人姐姐用双拍起，不行，你上去。All right, so we did just come out of there. Like I said, the British built that. And over there is that French gatehouse. And as I mentioned earlier, the French, the French were the first to be here, but they lost the fort in, uh, was it 1755 or in the 50s during the French and Indian War. Um, the British lay siege to this fort coming from that direction over there. Because this is a very strategic place along Lake Ontario out there, which we'll get to eventually and the Niagara River over there. And then the British controlled this um, through through the War of Independence, the uh, Revolutionary War. Um, this was a thorn in the side for the Continental Army. And uh, yeah, they, the British stayed here till it was the science of 1796. You know, we won the Revolutionary War, but the British didn't leave this fort until years later, I didn't, that's kind of interesting. It took whole, not till George Washington's second term as president, the British were still here until they got them to leave, I guess, you know, it's kind of interesting. And then of course, then it was under American control. And then the War of 1812, um, the British were able to capture this fort again. And uh, there was another fort on the other side of the river in Canada called Fort George, which they exchanged some cannon fire between those two forts. We'll try and zoom in on where that fort is. There's a and a uh, Union Jack flying over it. So anyway, I'm talking quite a bit here, so let's get looking more at some of what's around here. So I just want to give some of the history of it first, and then we'll get to walking around. Look at some of these things. That's the actual fort over there, the big French house that was built. See, it looks more like a house than it does a fort. Yes, yeah, so I mentioned that we lost this fort again during, 18, during the War of 1812, but when the war ended, uh, it was given back to us, so I, sh I should mention that as well. The, the English didn't keep it, obviously, so, because we're still in America. <laughs> this is the other second tower that was built by the English. We'll walk in there in a moment. That's cool, Lake Ontario. This is my third time seeing Lake Ontario as well. Here, earlier this morning we were at Lake Erie. That, that was gross. If you've seen that video, I, I won't talk about that. There was like dead fish everywhere. Well, I just did talk about it, but anyway. We're not at Lake Erie anymore. Place. And more steps over there. I guess that goes up to the top of the tower. This is cool. You can see the. Uh, you can saw it downstairs. There's some bunks for sleeping. This looks like there's tables in here for eating. And upstairs is where the, you can see out. Cool. You got the little slits here for firing. I guess it's name for that murder slits. I think. That's cool. Pretty neat here. Oh, there's like the gun racks. Cool. Oh, wow. Yes. The cannons up here. Alright, so here's a view looking out of the tower. There's the fort out there. There's Lake Ontario. 
I lost John. I don't know where he is anymore. I'll see if I can find him from up here. But you know we gotta check that out down there. And I believe I found John. There he is. He has no idea he's being filmed. All right, so this is beautiful out here, Lake Ontario. So we were just up in the top of that tower up there is where we were just earlier. This is, this is beautiful out here. An absolutely beautiful place with a, like a ton of history here. So like I said, this is a very key location right on Lake Ontario and right by the Niagara River. The French were here first because when they occupied this area, it controlled the trade routes um, for this area of the world for a while. And of course, during the French and Indian War, it became a strategic lo location too. That's why the, the British uh, captured it. So, and even during the Re American Revolution, like I said, it was a problematic for the American forces that the British occupied this section, this spot. So, cool. Let's walk up to see this cool old house slash fort thing up here. I'm not sure if we can go inside of it or not. This thing is huge. It's beautiful looking too. Here's a view from the front. Man, see it looks more like a, a house or like a French, what do you call it, chalet. <laughs> I guess I said that right. But like I said, they did it on purpose. So it wouldn't look like a fort. Wow. Alright, so I think we can at least take a look inside. Looks like some doors are open. Let's see. There's some people in here. Okay, so you can. Yeah, the tour guide earlier said that this house wasn't open, but wow, this is really neat. It smells really old too. Cool. I would so love to live here. You got two fireplaces on either side. Wow. See, I would sit in that chair right there and. That's where I do my research for my YouTube videos. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm moving in. Kick the, kick the state park people out and make this my house. <laughs> Not really, but cool. That's right, so. All right, well, let's keep walking around. Sheesh, this is beautiful. Yeah, back when I lived on my little farm. I had a, I live in, I live in an old section of the house that had like a cool stone fireplace. It kind of has this kind of, a, it's a little bit of the same feel to it. It kind of makes it a little homesick. All right, anyway, let's keep exploring. Wow, this is really neat. Oh, I should so live here, because right out your window is a view of Lake Ontario. Wow. Okay. That seals the deal. Alright. I think we can go upstairs here, too. But it looks like this is an old well.
Yep. Yeah, I'm still downstairs. I made just like a little, uh, like a little bed and a little fireplace there, like a trading room. Yeah, I got your, your skins and your pelts, beads and knives and stuff, deer skin, gunpowder and stuff. Cool. Come to trade at the fort. All right, let's see what's down this hallway. It's like you're in a castle, almost. This is like a bunk, bunk room. Wow, it almost feels like a prison with those windows, but yeah, cool. I guess this is well, what's down here yet. A little, uh, looks like a powder room. Alright. Alright, so I do see two sets of steps going up, so let's head on up. Were we in here yet? I don't think we were in here. I'm not sure what this is. Big, huge table area. I'm not sure. But let's go up stairs. This is really neat. There's like a little chapel over here. Oh, there's more stairs too. So we go up there. It's like a little chapel in here. Wow. Yeah, it's a, a Jesuit chapel. So it's probably here for the French. All right. Got their own little fireplace over there. Wow, this is. Did I mention that I'm moving in to this place? This is my new home. <laughs> All right. Wow, there's so many, so many places to explore in here. Let's just go to the end of the hall first. Sorry, I'm loving this. Oh, oh wow, look at this. You got your own little office area, a desk and everything. Wow. It's another fireplace though, like the one downstairs. Oh, this has a view of the lake as well. Cool. Oh, wow. Wow. Somebody important stayed here, I'm guessing. Like someone's chambers. Yep, I could eat here. I love how they have all the, try to have like the original display type stuff set up. This is awesome. All right, let's keep going. Go down the other hall. Oh, here's another room. Got their own little fireplace. Wow. Cool. All right. Just a little work room in here. I love this archway too. This is really neat. So there's a third floor. We're gonna go up there next. Yeah. Did I mention that I was moving in <laughs> to this place? Wow. I mean, it'd be difficult for me to, I at least live in one of those rooms. The one that looks out over the lake. 
Did I mention I like that arch back there too? <laughs> All right, this is this is amazing. This is really neat. Let's go up this, to the third floor here. Oh, wow, this is a big, huge open area up here. Wow. I think at one time, the guide said at one time they tore the roof off this and had cannons placed up here. I think during the Revolutionary War. Let's head back downstairs. I'm not sure where John is. I don't know if he came in here or not, but he's missing out. Wow. All right, let's get back down. Yeah, look who I found. It's John. So, he was out watching the musket demonstration. So. Yeah. Yeah, but this, this place is awesome. So. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Yeah. Yeah, just another view, beautiful view over the lake. Yeah, you know, if you are in the Niagara Falls area, definitely you know, come up here and check this place out, man. It's awesome. So, I'm gonna walk around a little bit more, check out a few more of the buildings and stuff. So, wow, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I love that old, I love that old place. Like I said, it reminds me in a much more larger way of where I used to live on the old farm. Had, it kind of has that same smell a little bit and everything. It makes me a little homesick. All right. But totally awesome place. If you love history and lakes and everything, yeah, this is an awesome place. Totally awesome. All right, we're going to head and walk up this thing. We should get some awesome views up here. I think from up here we can see Fort George. Yeah, well, there's the old fort. I got some cannons up here, and let's see if we can find Fort George. Oh boy. We gotta look for the Union Jack, the English flag. Give me a moment here. All right, I can't find it from this vantage point, but across, this is a, uh, oh, the Niagara River right here. And just over there is Canada. And just over there ways was Fort George. And I think it was during the War of 1812 that they, these two forts were exchanging cannon fire during the War of 1812. So, but somewhere over there is where Fort George was. I can't, earlier you could see the, uh, they had a British flag over it. Maybe they took it down, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just in the wrong vantage point, but over, kind of between those two poles, over that way was Fort George. It's been restored too, by the Canadian government. But look at that, awesome views, man. Yeah, I'm still up here on these ramparts. I looked off in a distance there, just past the muzzle of the cannon. I'm going to zoom in. You can see the outline of another city. I hope that shows up. You see that? Whoops. It's pretty windy out here. I'm not sure what city that is. That's over in Canada. That is pretty awesome. Let's barely make it out. Yeah, and there's another, there's another view of my house, <laughs> or what I wish I could be my house. Yep. Just some of the other buildings here, because that's the gate over there is where we came in at. Oh yeah, this big building here is the magazine powder room. Where they kept the black powder. I think they said the walls are four feet thick. I'm not sure if we can go in this one or not, but yeah, it was to protect the, uh, the black powder. Oh, and it's pretty dark in here. Oh, no focus. There we go. Not gonna be able to see much. Oh, yeah. Because from the outside, the building looks huge, but in the inside, it's just a small area. Wow. Because this is where they store all the gunpowder. Pretty awesome. And I'm not entirely sure what this is. Oh, they got lots of uh, displays in here. A 
we'll kind of diagram what the fort would have looked like. That's cool. Old fireplace there. So I think you can go, there's a little path. I think you could go in under these, uh, I forget what they're called, ramparts here. Uh, on the outside, that's where that brick was that I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to see, I think the tour guide said that there you can go under there. There might be a tunnel under there. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any side entrances. Look, it just, just takes you all the way through. Yeah, then we're on the outside of the fort. This is where the brick is again. And of course, you can see the cannon, the cannon holes. Yeah, I thought the tour guide said that you could uh, somehow access those other parts, but not through that tunnel. So, anyway, we're not done looking around yet. I might try to get in, find a way in there. All right, I'll get back to you. We gotta leave soon, anyway. Like I said, we gotta work tonight. We're up here on a work trip. I think I mentioned that. So, unless the store cancels, that, that might be cool. Of course, you don't get paid then either. But anyway, all right. Tomorrow, yeah, work tonight. And tomorrow we head back home. So, been a long week. Been up here since what is today? Today's Friday. Been up here since Sunday. So, in New York, that is not at this exact spot. All right. That's a cool picture. So I think I remember now the tour guide mentioning that uh, you couldn't get into that under part that I was hoping to, that they do give tours of that part underneath the, uh, I guess you call it the rampart, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm using the right name, but underneath this part here. But anyway, so we're not gonna get under there, but that's okay. I think we're almost done here. I'm gonna walk around a little bit more yet. So I lost John again. <laughs> All right, so if you remember that town, that city I was pointing out, the skyline of it, uh, John's here with me. He said that someone told him that that's, that, that's Toronto out there. All right, so it's a totally awesome place, but we got to head out, head out to work, get something to eat and go to work. So, and someone got a new hat. <laughs> so at least a summer hat, because it has like the mesh backing. So keep me warmer. That other hat gets a little hot <laughs> during the summer. So I think I used to be seeing me in a new hat this summer. All right, well, thanks for coming along. And uh, like I said, totally awesome place. If you're in Niagara Falls area, you definitely have to come and check this place out. Old Fort Niagara, really, really awesome place here in New York. So besides the fort, you got the Lake Ontario and it's awesome. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you around.